are fighting the name. You are not fighting David, you are fighting the Lord. And I come in the name of the Lord whom you fight. I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. Defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, because he came in the name. And if you confront your problem in that name, and you face the challenges in your life in that name, you'll be victorious in Jesus' name. And then it says, I will smite you. David, how can you talk so confidently like that? I represent the name. And he is defeated already because he defied the name. Just because he defied the name, I know he is God. He has defied the creator of the heavens and the earth. He has belittled the one that gave him the air to breathe. He has defied the name of the one that gave him the solid ground to walk on. He has defied the name of the king of the whole universe. And his breath, his life is in the hand of the almighty God. And because I know he has defied the name of the almighty God, he is gone. He is gone. He is dead is going to be meat and food for the worms of the earth he'll soon be buried and that's why he had the confidence and that's why we have the confidence when anybody defies the name of the lord don't ever think people are fighting you don't ever think people are opposed to you they fight the one you represent shift the battle where it is and shift the conflict to the place it belongs and then it says, I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Not that there is a David in Israel. I'm not important. David said, he's not fighting me. Did I meet him yesterday, Philip uh, Goliath? Did I see you yesterday? Have we met before? Are we not in this because of the name? The name of the Lord. And because we're in this because of the name this day. The Lord will clean up all the rubbish you put on his name, Goliath. The Lord will kill, clean up. All the defiling statements you make concerning his name. And the whole world will know there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's. That's what I, I told you. The battle is not yours. It's not David's battle. The battle is the Lord's. And he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David. That David hasted and ran towards the army of the, to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and shook there's a stone and slunk it and smote the Philistine in the forehead and that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth I'm sure everybody says the stone killed Goliath God could have killed Goliath without a stone God could have finished the life of that man without his stone. He just wanted David to. He just had the privilege. The privilege of doing something. Not what he did. I but Herod. Herod in Acts chapter 12. There was no stone. There was no sling. There was no David. There was no sword. When he said something. And people said that's the voice of God. And he took the glory of God. He just died immediately. No stone was necessary. Once anybody fights against your God, you don't need a stone, you don't need a sling, you don't need a sword. Already inside trouble. You don't need to fight at all because the Lord will defend that great name. 
I said the Lord will defend that great name. Is the name. Now Psalm 1, 2, 4. Psalm 124. The name. The protection we have in that name. Psalm 124, verse 1. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us a prey as a prey to their chief. The Lord will not give you to them. They look for you, they will not find you. Because you represent the Lord and because the name of the Lord is in your mouth and because you are protected by that name, there is protection, preservation in that name. And because of that protection, that preservation in that name, it will not give you into their hands in Jesus' name. Blessed be the Lord in the saints, who has not given us as a prey to their tears. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help, tell me the rest, is in the name. Our help is in that name. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. Proverbs chapter 18. Verse 10, Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and is what? Safe, secured, protected. The name of the Lord, that's where your protection is. And you know, all these religious people. I don't understand. A religious man that carries a, the whole Bible and see the name of God in the Bible and see the power of God in the Bible and see the protection of God in the Bible and see the preservation that God gives us in the Bible. The Bible, the Holy Bible, the book of God. See, the revelation that God makes in the Bible. The man carries the Bible on Sunday. And then during the week, can you imagine that a man like that carrying this Bible that has the name, the nature, the authority, the power, the provision that's in that name, then he will go to the secret and be looking for power from all those herbalists. And then the herbalists will say, I thought uh, you, I thought you're a preacher. Oh, you say, Papa, don't, don't worry. I thought you people, when you preach in your crusade, you'll be knocking all the, you know, evil workers and evil doers, and you'll be saying this and that. And then, you know, the man will say, oh, Papa, don't worry. Well, to tell them in the public like that, that's preaching. But you help me. How can, how can that you carry in the Bible and then you go in secret? To look for power. Which other power? All power is in the name of the Almighty God. We don't need to go anywhere. And whatever your problem is, the Lord will solve the problem in Jesus' name. You know, I heard about some of these people that want to establish church. Church. Even the name alone, church. The gates of hell will never prevail against the church. And then they go to, you know, all these uh, people, and they're looking for something. And then they bury something, I'm told, in their church building. So as to invite and attract crowd. What do you need that for? 
What do you need that? Why do you serve Satan in the public and then you come to preach Jesus in the you serve Satan in the secret? You come to preach Jesus in the public. How can you do that? There is no power inside this book. And if you will stand on this, the Lord will bear you and keep you to the very end in Jesus' name. It says the name of the Lord. It's a strong and mighty tower. The righteous runneth into it and is saved. That name will work mightily in your life. And then you will see when you trust in this name. When you have confidence in this name, you will never be ashamed in Jesus' name. Joel, Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 32. Joel chapter 2, verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered shall be delivered and as you call on the name of the lord this day deliverance total deliverance has come to you in jesus name number one is the perfection of his nature number two is the protection through his name number three praying in his name you can ask anything you want in this name and when he puts a signature on your request, heaven will honor your request in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 10, reading from verse 8. And I stayed in the mount, according to the first time, forty days and forty nights. And the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. And the Lord destroyed not thee. That's chapter 10, verse 10. Just to give you an extra. Now verse 8. At that time the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord. To stand before the Lord to minister unto him and to bless and to bless in his name unto this day if we're going to receive any blessing at all it's in the name the name of God the Levites and the priests who are raised up to bless the people of God in the name through the name of God some night one Psalm 91 verse 14. 91 verse 14. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high. That's, pro that's protection as well as promotion. I, the Almighty God, in whose name you come, I will set him on high why because because of what tell me out loud because he has known my name go back to verse 1 that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high when you know the name of the lord you'll seek your protection your preservation in that name and you will dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and He is my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers. Under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid. When you have that name, you will not be afraid. 
Have you heard of, you know, some people, I don't know why they do that. They cross from this local church to another local church in the same denomination, in the same, in the same church. But the church has a location here, the church has another location there, and then they'll move from that location and go to the other location. And then we'll say, but this location you're coming from, is nearer your house is closer to your house why are you not there i would say i cannot go there there are some people there what kind of people they are i don't want to mention because when i mention their name they are monitoring me they have the kind of teleguiding something they monitor me and if i even mention their name eh, they will know that i mentioned their name and that night i will not sleep you believe in christ oh yes i'm a christian I'm born again and then you cannot even talk you cannot even open your mouth and you cannot mention this or that because they're teleguiding you well you know the name and you have trust and confidence in the name you will not be running from one place to the other you will stay in that place that's if they're preaching sound doctrine they're preaching the word of god you will stay and say i'm going to stay here and if anybody wants to challenge you you know they're not fighting you they're not they're fighting the one you represent and so you will not run not only that she's not just members apart about some preachers and maybe that you know not in lagos here this is headquarters i heard about this preacher oh yes it might even be lagos who knows that you know he will not be able to stay there and preach the word of god and he says when i come on the pulpit and i want to stand and preach then those people are there and they will not allow me to preach not because they do any physical thing it says they're using this or that and therefore it will run away and it's still holding the office of the preacher in that local church but he never preaches and he'll just commit he delegate to other people it's running away if you are a christian how is there there's somebody there you cannot talk for the god you represent and if you are here in lagos this morning the name of jesus the name of god will break the yoke in your life if you don't allow the yoke to be broken and you are just there holding the name of the office but you are not preaching because anytime i come they send arrows to me and i cannot preach quit the, quit the pulpit and let another person take over somebody who knows the name of god somebody who knows the power the authority of god who can stand and represent god and let that person come and give us the word of life and if you are there in any location you are hearing my voice if you belong to deeper life if you belong to this church